If someone says they can see an ancestor, they are not talking about direct observation. They are talking about making an inference. Inference can be logical and based on facts. It is still not the same as seeing something. Fossils, comparative anatomy, and genetics can limit the options. They can say no to some things. They don't often let you make a detailed picture of one group of people from 10 million years ago. A scientific method begins with a clear statement, then makes predictions, and ultimately conducts testing for this subject, which includes topics such as what features should be found in fossils from different layers, what patterns should be seen in common DNA, what timing should match different dating methods, and what functional anatomy should match the environment and diet. The difficulty is that public debates typically miss the challenging phase. People go from there is a model to the model is a fact in full detail. That's not how science works. That's conveying a story using scientific words. You wondered why it's hard to picture what that last common ancestor looked like. It's problematic because you want a detailed depiction without the specimen or many fossils. DNA can tell us how closely related two species are and how they have changed over time, but it doesn't give us a complete body plan for a specific extinct population. Fossils can illustrate what things looked like, but the record isn't perfect or complete. If you say or imply that we already know what that ancestor looked like with confidence, you are offering an opinion that is dressed up as fact.